All praise due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Our Lord, in you we trust, and to you we always turn, and to you is the final return. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that our Master Prophet Muhammad is his valary and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path till the Day of Judgment. It is one of the universal norms that Allah tests creatures with difficulties. As Allah, glory be to him, said, We created man from a sperm of mixtures to put him to the test. We gave him hearing and sight. To face these difficulties, Allah guided us to material and spiritual means. The external means that we should follow include knowledge and following the precautions set by specialized entities. Moreover, the, guide, the guidelines set by the official institutions must be followed because following the authorities is a national obligation. The Almighty Allah said, you who believe, obey Allah and the Messenger and those in authority among you. Allah also said, you people can ask those who have knowledge if you don't know. People of knowledge in our case are specialized people or institutions. Thus, it is not allowed to disobey the official institutions of the state. Among the material means is the significance of hygiene. Generally speaking, Islam pays much attention to hygiene, showing its necessity to protect humans from diseases and harms. The Almighty Allah said, Allah loves those who turn to him and he loves those who keep themselves clean. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Purity is half of faith, and said, Clean your, clean your yards. Yard here covers houses, schools, factories, streets, squares, etc. Islam pays a special attention to hand washing, as we see in ablution. The Almighty Allah said, You who believe, when you are about to pray, wash your faces and your hands up to the elbows. Wipe your heads, wash your feet up to the ankles. Thus, washing one's hands and elbows is a pillar of ablution. Moreover, in the beginning of ablution, it is recommended to wash hands three times, followed by rinsing one's mouth and sniffing. Then one should wash his face and then his hands again up to the elbows. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, When one of you wakes up from his sleep, he must not put his hand in a utensil till he washed it. Also, it is recommend, recommended to wash hands before and after eating. All this proves that religion goes in line with science. Keeping people healthy is one of the ultimate objectives of the Sharia, a point which is stressed by the hadith of the Prophet peace be upon him in which he states, there shall be no harm nor reciprocating of harm. So we should take all the necessary and preventive precautions to prevent the spread of diseases through keeping away from hugging, kissing, and shaking hands, and from being with masses. In this vein, we stress the, that crises and hard time and the people's origin and manner. So we should show mercy to one another and keep away from selfishness of all kinds. With the intention of increasing prices, besides, buyers should not be selfish when buying a comedy since this causes imbalance in the demand and supply system. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, None hoards but a sinner. The hoarder is cursed, and no one of you will be a true believer until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. <clears throat> all praise due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad and his companions and followers. Muslim brothers, as for the spiritual means that we should seriously consider, they include the good reliance on Allah. Allah Most High says, so rely on Allah for surely Allah loves those who rely on Him. Reliance on Allah does not contradict with make, making use of reason. It is reported that one man came to the messenger of Allah and said, shall I tie it and rely on upon Allah or leave it loose and rely upon Allah. He said, tie it and rely on Allah. So it has 
a must upon us to make use of the reasons leading to the realization of well-being and well-established scientific guidelines. Meanwhile, we should rely on Allah Most High in, in all of our affairs. The list of these reasons also includes supplication to Allah. Allah says, then why, when our punishment came to them, did they humble themselves? We are in a dire need to resort to Allah to remove this hardship from people and countries. We should seize this situation to reconnect to our relationship with Allah. The list also includes that a man should protect himself with as the car to Allah. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, a person will not be harmed by anything if he says every morning and evening for 33 times, in the name of Allah, by whose name nothing in the earth or in the heaven is harmed. He is the all hearing, the all knowing. And whoever dismounts to rest in a place should say, I seek refuge with the complete words of Allah from evil of what he created. And nothing will harm him until he remounts. The list also includes giving out recommended charity. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, said, fortify your money and heal your sick people with sadaqah.